Sup y'all, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the game. Welcome to Click Fireball Media, home of hack and slash PC and console games. As you can see right here, we got away and freed Freyr at the same time, while these two dragons try to shoot us down. When we got back, we presented everyone with Heimdall's horn, saying that we killed him. And then Atreus decided to go out and return back to Odin. Before then, he met up with Fenrir. Lastly, I really don't want to be a bearer of bad news, but we did lose Brock last episode. May you rest in peace. If you haven't liked, subscribe, or even slap that notification button, you can take the time to do that right now. I really appreciate it. It's going to be slightly shorter episode this time, about a little over an hour long. But we're going to be fighting a ton of enemies. It's going to be crazy. I'm telling you. Kratos is going to be out there. Swinging wildly. Beard shining like the sun. Especially after 10 pounds of cedar beard balm. Father, it's crazy. Where are we going? Oh. The atmosphere right now is obviously pretty somber with Kratos and Atreus, so we're just going to proceed cautiously. Let's get through the door. Father, can we? I... I want to go hunting. I will follow. We are with you, Atreus. Yeah, I'm fine, Quentin. Let's go do that. What do we hunt? Deer. Which way we headed, lad? In the direction of deer. <laughs> I like that. The path hunting for solace has begun. And we have to go ahead and follow Triss. Hey, the wolves are back. I was worried about them last time. We just left them in the middle of the desert and everything. Good thing they found their way back and unleashed themselves and unhooked all their gear all by themselves. They're a miracle to humanity. To speak of what happened. I think I heard something. This way. He just needs space. Here. Try they're leading that way. Feeling kind of bad for Atreus right now. Same time, there were some things he did that may or may not have led to the Atreus, death of Brock. Violence changes us. You are not weak to feel its effects. We're all feeling its effects. Yeah, they're not lying, Atreus. We're all feeling bad for the we're loss of right Brock way. right now. All right, seems like we're heading the right way. There's broken branches over there. Come on. All right, let's go. I keep seeing it. The knife, Brock, Sentry's face. Son. There it is. <sighs> Over speed. Why? That was running. And so are we. I don't understand. When an animal is wounded, it must stop the bleeding, or it will die. We have been wounded in this. 
this is a distraction. It's my fault. No. Find Sindri. I have a pretty good idea where he might be. Lead. Yeah, we'll be right behind you. All right. So I guess we need to find Sindri now. I need to think about what I'm gonna say to him. Of course. Yeah, not a problem at all. I mean, the sled is already waiting there for us. We might as well head back. Everywhere I look, I'm reminded of my mistakes. Our actions have consequences. To be reminded of them is not punishment. Feels like it. Shouldn't take it that way, Trish. You should take it as a way where you use that as an example of what not to do next time. Seeing deception that fooled us all, stopped an attack you could not predict. There is no if, Atreus. Your father's right. There are things even gods cannot control. That's true. Things happen sometimes. So let's make it through this tiny little crevice right here. And we'll be right back at Kratos' house. Spana. It's Becky. Hey, there's our wolves. Looking as happy as ever. Ah, I guess that's why they already have, they never take off their gear. It's constantly on them. Makes sense now. But how did they? We can take this I guess they would help them s help each other take off the rope off their backs or something. Okay, I was trying to get on the sled, and for some reason I couldn't figure out why until I seen in front of me that the gate wasn't even open yet. Hey, there we go. Easy as pie. Dang, he even made Atreus have a sad expression on his face the entire time. Well, that's a nice attention to detail. Mimir, is there a chance that we could bring Brock back? Sindri did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. I'm afraid not, little brother. When a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like Brock's, leaves its corporeal form. Well, it can't reach the Lake of Souls. He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. There's nothing to bring back. It's really gone. Atreus, if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. No. It was stupid of me to hope in the first place. Oh, cut that out, Atreus. I mean, some things can't be changed, and in this instance, unfortunately, Brock is gone. I mean, it would be nice if they did bring him back in some way, but... Water. I feel like I want to get on a boat and just sail away from here. From everything. You cannot sail away from your mistakes. It is impossible to forget them. I have tried. I will follow you no matter where you go, little brother. They ain't lying. If you are to sail, do it toward somewhere. Well, that makes sense. Always move with a purpose. The lift at the end of the bridge it still works. We can get up to the temple that way. Brother. <laughs> We really should be heading to the temple. Okay, hold on, Mimir. I was trying to see where this marker was, and it turns out it was just right here. So we're getting off this sled. And I should have remembered this in the first place. The place looks totally different when everything is in Fimble Winter.
All right, back to a very familiar stage. Let's run across this and get to the other side. I'm hearing clinks. So it must be Sindri. Banging Fresh. the hammer. What makes you so sure Sindri will be here? It's where he and Brock reunited. Reforging something that broke. He'll be here. Oh, sorry. No. No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means. We're not letting Odin get away with this. Would that be the Odin you invited into my home? We were all fooled. Oh. But some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills. My friendship, my home, my secrets, my treasures, and you just kept taking. And now what have I got? <laughs> Not even my family. You want sorry? This is what sorry looks like. I. What can we do? We. There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So what you can do is get the fuck out of my sight. Come with us. Leave it be. More now you wish. I I thought we were his family too. Is as I said earlier, every action has a series of consequences, just like a ripple in a pond. There's no making this right, is there? No, but I know I'll feel better when we brought Odin to justice. Justice? Justice is not what we seek. It is vengeance. Every path I walk leads back to vengeance. Maybe that's all we have left. Okay, let's not let's listen to Atreus right now. He's still mourning. Hey, we're back where the elevator is. Let's take it back down. Was kind of getting worried about the wolves again. They're still here. Waiting for us loyally. All I can ask for from a pair of wolves. When we get back. We're, we really are going to war. It has come to that. Yes. When we were back in Svartalfheim, looking for Tyr, this isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I meant. Not if it meant losing Brock. We know what she is. We know. Another Berserker gravestone. Okay, I see it, but maybe we'll come back for that later, Kratos. He really took everything from Sindri. Don't take to heart what I'm said in grief, Atreus. No matter how spot on they feel. That's true. We should listen to Mimir. I know we should go see Freya. But I wouldn't mind staying here in Midgard. For a little while. 
Aye. A few last adventures to take our minds off the state of, well, everything. I think I'll just save that for a little bit later. But for now, we're just going to continue on the path. And we just picked up a beast bone. There it is. Rest in peace, my old friend. We'll miss you, Brock. Let's go ahead and pass through this gateway right here. Head back to Freya. Get things established. And once we've done that, well, I think I'm just going to explore some of these favors. And let's think about... That is where they want us to go, right? Is Sindri's house? Let's double check. Sindri's house is right there. I guess that is... Where we're going. And we have completed the mission. The path hunting for solace is over. back door in was also his way out. Without the blasted raven apparently hiding in the broom closet, the house should be secure. And she will not turn away allies in her vengeance. Aye, it's all our vengeance now. And no more fake tear to twist our minds around. Oh, what a mockery he made of Tear's desire for peace and mine. That is true. I mean, I did have a feeling that Tear was a little bit of a scaredy cat. All right, so we're back at Sindri's. Well, it was Sindri's house. You're back. Are you with us? Hmm. Good. It's time. Time for what, dare I ask? Time to unite the realms against Odin once and for all. Tyr tried to unite the realms. The real Tyr. Everyone loved him. And even he failed. Then we better not fail. Or there will be no one left to try. This is Ragnarok. And Odin's already heard every blasted plan we have. Yes, we've lost the element of surprise. More than that, we have only one way to Asgard, and it's not subtle. Go on. It means we enter from Tyr's temple, here. Asgard's wall is here. Odin's host of Einherjar will hold the space in between. Which means we need armies of our own. As many as will answer the call, numbers Odin won't see coming. And that's just to reach the wall. To breach the wall, we'll need to find Sarta. Radatoskar was able to procure this. The three of us will go. I know just where to look. Mm. Splendid. Allies, then. Who do we think we can get? I'll venture to Helheim. Try to recruit the army of the dead. And I'll return to Alfheim to unite the elves. But just like that. Unite the elves after centuries of war. Well, they really like me in Alfheim. And you? To Valheim? Yes. To find Sigrun and muster the free Valkyries. Midgard has no army. Nor Niflheim, nor Jotunheim. That leaves only Svartalfheim. I'll go to Svartalfheim. Sindri? Are you sure? I said I'll go. <sighs> so be it. Good luck to us all. Well, it's official. Like a bloodstained fingerprint. We're going to find Sturter. And so let's head out these doors and do that. Off to Muspelheim to find the last fire giant. I almost envy everyone else's impossible mission. Oh, come on, Mimir. It's not going to be that hard. We got that purple egg thing. I think that's going to entice Sturter to feed on it. I'm not sure. But let's see where this... Oh, look at all these favors. I'm going to have to do one of these the next time. I don't want to head into, like, the last phases of the game without key components. 
So let's see where we have to go here. The Burning Cliffs. Doesn't sound like a place I want to go. But I guess that's the plan. That's where he is. He is a fire giant. Where else would he be? Except for a volcano. I'm trying to go to this one. But it's not letting me go over there. There's like no option. So I guess we have to start here. It's not a problem. It's okay. I'm breathing. You said you know where to look for Surtur. Yeah. I unlocked the secrets in the shrine when I was in Muspelheim with Thor. Thor. Don't worry. He didn't see me go in. That was not my worry. Now look. When we find Surtur, we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife, Sinmara. Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh my. And you know what, Mimir? Don't even get worried. I've seen this in the movies all the time. The MCU version of it? Apologies. He actually destroys Asgard, but... Doubts regarding negotiations okay, never mind. Frostfelger in Helheim. My thinking is that she may be more amenable to speaking with a member of the, um, deceased. Mimir. You're needed. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. We'll catch up with you later. Hey, I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. <clears throat> All right, I guess it's going to be me and Atreus this time, and the path, the summoning, has begun. All we have to do is find where we need to go now. I hear... Atreus making noises and stuff like that. I guess he hopped down already. Oh, there he is. Where is she? Niflheim, I think. Niflheim, it is, I guess. Go we'll grab this on the ground, and it is 1,074 hacks over. Oh, crap. We got more clouds. Good thing we have Atreus here with the arrows. Got it. Hit it with the axe. And it is killed. Prophecy and decided to isolate themselves in their home realms to fight. Understandable. Hopefully they'll understand why Ragnarok needs to happen. Divine Ashes. Yeah, I guess we found something good in that. Okay, I forgot. We gotta shoot these things with sigil arrows. Alright, let's have Atreus shoot one. Okay, that... Wrong button. Okay. Alright. I'm having a little bit of problems. There, finally got it. Now that's gone, we're going to go through this in incredibly tight crevice right here. Kratos' head was almost Look, bushed in there. between the rocks, but we made it through. Was kind of getting worried there. And we have ourselves a specter. Look at this thing. It was trying to shoot fireballs at me, but the spear is awesome. Sony. A shot into that thing? It's almost dead all right. This thing is powerful. Magical. Glad I got it. Now I'm attacking. I'm avoiding. I'm rolling. Rambo will be proud. I'm shooting spears all over the place. I even got one in his face. Didn't even do nothing. Starting to wonder about that guy. What's wrong with you, Jorger? A spear to the face is not good enough. You should be gone right now. And the specter is continuously shooting fireballs at me. That's what you get. The spear is the magical weapon that is the answer to this problem. It only has an inch of life left. And it keeps on shooting fireballs at me. I hate this thing. One more opening and it's gone. Freaking Drover tried to hit me with his freaking club. I'm not going to let you hit me. You bastard. Okay, let's Rambo roll out of everything. And I have struck it down. Another cloud has met its doom. One was trying to shoot a magical web on the ground. I was not liking it, so I denied it. Alright. Crap. I tried to parry it. Didn't even parry at all. This guy smacked in the face. Either way, dead. Jorger, gone. You know this. A hunch. When I was here before. I got a pretty you good know what? I should start out. selling that in the store. Droger be gone. It'll sell out like hotcakes. I don't know who's going to be buying it, but I know it's going to sell. Either way, we have to... What's over here? Look at this fiery doom that's around us. Volcanoes everywhere. 
You think it'll just be one? No. It's a full landscape full of volcanoes, one after another. I would hate to live here. Can you imagine that? You'd just be dead right when you open the door. Like the heat would be amazing. All right, let's make it across this. We need to be this. ready for Surtur, in case he doesn't want to help us. Ready. Prophecy says he and Sinmara join. But who knows how they're going to feel about it now. You would try to force these primordial beings into submission. Well, I don't know. We can't win this war without them, right? Exactly. When we want to win a war, we just have to find a gimungus fire giant gotta be close. to break down the walls of Asgard and destroy everything. It's easy, right? I mean, like, who wouldn't come up with that answer? It should be the answer for everything. Like, if you have a war, find a fire giant. Like, come on. Anyways, we found ourselves a chest. See all these runes around? I have to somehow light it with my Swords of Chaos. Look how far away that one is. How's that gonna work out? I don't know. The spear doesn't do anything to it. Even the powerful version of it. You see how it lit up? That means it's powerful, okay? So that doesn't really work out. Which leaves me one more idea. The sigil arrows. That must be it right there. We have to chain these together and somehow we're going to light that thing up. Okay. Before I do that, I want to see... Okay, I'm not sure why I was thinking about the lava. Alka. Okay, we got that one. And that's still too far away. So we will have to shoot more sigil arrows to set this up. And that's still too far away. So we'll try it again. How is that too far away? That's stupid. See, you got it. Finally got it. And we're going to turn the corner, try the other one. This one seems a lot closer than the one I've seen. So we're going to get started with this one. Shoot a couple of these sigil arrows. Light that up. That didn't even get close. That sucked. We tried this one. That wasn't it neither. One more time. Well, I got two out of three. Not good enough. I need all of them to light up in order for me to feel 100% satisfaction. And I'm not feeling that right now. I'm feeling 20% satisfaction and 80% irritation. So we're going to try to shoot this again. And let's try it. What the crap? Okay, one more time. And that wasn't even good. It was never good enough. It never will be good enough. I'm feeling... Did I get it? I didn't even finish my... Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna try this again. We're gonna get it this time. I feel it. It's done. When my mind is focused like this, it's almost comparable to a Zen master. And Atreus is hopping back and forth on that barricade, and I'm not sure why. A lot of things are not being answered right now. Things are getting more and more confusing on this game. I'm feeling a sense of hopelessness. Okay, okay. We're, go we're going to take a breather and decide the best course of action. There is literally no way for me to even get close to that little, I don't know what you call it, the rune right there. And I'm not sure why I'm doing this. For some reason, maybe I thought I could freeze the lava on the ground and I could maybe get closer, but that's not it. Maybe I need to come around here. Something ahead. Be ready. 
Ah, oh, crap. We just walked right into a boss fight. Here we go. It's another one of these orb demons. But I have one thing that I have not tried. Oh, crap. Okay, last time the axe worked. Uh, okay, I guess the different color is signifying to me that I should be using a different weapon. So I'm switching over to Swords of Chaos, and I got it. One shot, done. That's how it always should be. But it's not like that, is it? It's never like that. Now it's trying to deny me my satisfaction. I'm not liking it. So I'm coming in for attack, and I'm proving that the God of War cannot be stopped. Okay, it's, it's been stopped a little bit. Kratos is on fire. It's okay. I got Titan Rage now. Which knocked this dang thing down one more time. It's a flame phantom. Hey, whatever name it is, it matters not. Because I am trying to defeat it right now. Okay, I got it down one more time. And there it is. Take this down. Knocks down around 25% life. And I need to get one more of these pillars. Let's use the axe. Go more quickly. Crap! Okay, that didn't really do anything. There's one pillar still up. And I am thinking there may be more. Alright, let's... Oh, crap. Why didn't I roll away? If I Rambo rolled away, I would have been safe from all attacks. But did I do that? No. I'm ashamed. Let's try this again. This time with more vigor Something ahead. and heart. Be ready. And we're also going to be using the spear this time. I'm thinking that it may be the answer. Okay, get a couple in there. Bam! Okay, that didn't really do anything much. Okay, try it again. Alright, perfect. So we'll come in here, stab it a couple times. Retreat, retreat. Okay. We retreated and now we're met with a barrage. Okay, there we go. There we go. It was getting ready to throw lava at me, but that spear saved my day. All I have to do is explode it at the right time. I think I missed my opportunity right there. So we're going to try this again. And now. Perfect. Alright, now it's time to destroy this thing finally and to do it the right way. It's done. Well, we have to destroy that again? I guess we have to do that both at the same time? Alright, it's done. It's done. And it's still alive. We got about 20% life left. And I'm feeling confident. I don't feel like I could do it this time. We got a couple more. There we go. Perfect. I knew it. When that thing starts glowing a little bit, it has a little shield around it. Just explode the spears. You're going to knock it down. We're going to try this again. Just Rambo roll out everything dangerous. I don't want to get overly too damaged. We're coming in for more attack. One of its runic springs must be hidden. So it must be hidden as Atreus has pointed out. Let's see where they're hiding it at. It got to be somewhere around here. And I'm thinking it's that thing. It's all about the spear with this boss. I'm telling you. All right, so I just exploded that thing, and now the the freaking demons back again. So we're sticking it with a few more spears. Exploded it at the completely wrong time. It's okay. Because we just got open right now. Getting with a few more attacks. And there it is. That should be where the pillar is. And I just got hit with the attack. See how much easier it is with the spear? And I got a silver tier completed. Hot Light Lunge 1. What that means, I don't know yet. I'm going to have to check later. Alright, I should have blocked that one. It's one of the few attacks where the Rambo roll did not serve me right. So we knocked it down again. Where's this dang pillar at? 
All right, right behind me. Let's get it. The spring. Now's our chance. Exactly. I hear you, Atreus. That's why I'm chucking spears at him. It's down. All right. Only has a hair of life left. Looks like we can finish it off. Well, it looks like it to me, too. Let's get it, Atreus. We just have to. There it goes. Didn't really take much at all. R3. Crush it, soul. It's gone. Nice job. I'm really sweaty. Let us find Surtur. Yeah, it was pretty intense. But we got ourselves a heavy runic attack. An array of chaotic cyclones rampage through the field, damaging all enemies in their paths. That seems good to me. We're grabbing that one. It's better than the artillery of the ancients. I wasn't really in too in love with that one. The but we got gate. shattered rune, XP, close. all that good stuff. Let's get through here. And look at this. That's gotta be him. We will ask. Oh, I guess that's where Surter is. He's just working on something over there. In that field of swords. What the hell? I'm telling you, man. Does Ichigo go come out here? I'm being honest about that. Hello? That looks just Surter? like that. Anyways. Going well, off topic. Him or he's ignoring us. We're just going to continue come running on. up here. Hello. We seek a fire giant. Go away. Oh, oh ah. damn. What happened what there? Just he happened? just said, go away, hey, and brush his hand down, and boom. Kratos and Atreus just flew off into nowhere. And now we're fighting a soul eater again? Well, it's not like with Atreus. We don't have, we don't have to shoot arrows at it anymore. We got an axe for this thing. And there we go. We knocked a little chunk of rock out of it. And as usual, we're just going to chuck it back at this thing. Perfect. Now it's down R3. Now we get a punch and stomp it out a little bit. What the crap? But now we have to fight both of these things? That's what happens when things get crazy in God of War in the later stages of the game. Wow. They're just sending everything at you. Now you're fighting like five giants, 15 enemies. I mean, things get real. We haven't gotten there yet. But it's getting close. See how things are just increasing in difficulty in every single stage of this game? That's how it happens. That's how they like it. And I do not have any qualms against it. But I got killed there. So let's resurrect and try this again. We're doing it. I'm a Goku with these people. Watch this. What's happening right now. Chuck my axe. Now he's shot a fireball at me. And I found an open. That was your mistake, Soul Eater. Now you will pay dearly. With a feet Another to your face. He is the Get him. Of this realm. It is his right to defend it. Exactly. But it matters not to us because we're going to defeat both these Soul Eaters and everything around here. And that's just how it's going to be. So... I got a little bit more life. I chucked the axe at it. It hit nothing at all. Now it's trying to explode me. Now I'm on fire. That's awesome. And now I'm going into Titan Rage mode. They did not see that coming. But I did. And that's all that counts. So let's go ahead. We got a little rock out of it. Chuck it again. That didn't really do anything that time. So I'm going to try this one more time. Finally. Now that's down, it should be the end of this Soul Eater right here. There it goes. Fell to the ground. Turned to confetti and everything. It's official. It's gone. So we ramble, rolled out of that one. And we're waiting for more openings. There we go, you bastard. Got one more rock. Wait for this guy to chuck more fireballs at me. Didn't work out for you, did it? Had to avoid that drogo real quick. Now that 
did that, I'm just gonna stomp this thing out a little bit. And it got back up. It's okay. A little ramble roll out of that. Don't wanna get hit by that blast. I'm pretty close to winning right now. Don't really wanna mess it up. A little ice attack for that, Droger. Now we're gonna get a little piece of stone. Finally. We're gonna end this. We're gonna freaking end this. One more stone on this thing should put it pretty low in life. There it goes. It's over for this thing. I'm gonna rip this freaking heart out. That's what it gets. Two more Jogo left. Your guardians meant nothing to me, Surter. That is Surter. He's got a lot to answer for. As you said. We need him. You know what else we need? Materials. And that's exactly what we got. A boon of fury. Amulet enhancement. And I never even filled the last four slots. So we're going to do that right now. We got Midgard's Endurance. Boon of fury. Helheim's Might. Helheim's Essence. And Misselheim's Protection. We're set and we're good to go. I'm not changing my chest armor. That thing has served me well this entire time. Exactly. The other one was actually a downgrade. So I'm not going with that one. Because I don't feel like it. But what I do feel like are upgrading these skills. Because I have ignored them and passed on them this entire walkthrough. Or series in general. So we're going to get everything right now. Because I have an overwhelming amount of XP. Whirlwind sweep. Getting it. Because why not? I don't even care. We're getting all this stuff. Pride of the Frost. Whirlwind throw. Pride of the Frost 2. What else? Blaze of Chaos. Getting everything here too. Plumes of Chaos. Blazing Explosion. Hyperion Grapple. What else? The Spear. Can't forget this thing. Not yet. I want to finish this out. Furious Immolation. Have to get it. I think I have one more. Or should I save that? Maybe Atreus needs some love right now because I'm getting kind of low on XP but then so let's get started aggression rushing ascent evasive marksman imbued assault high ground archers reversal focus shot focus volley hex potency dexteria shot sonic echoes hex debilitation hex See, we're getting everything. It doesn't even matter what we're doing no more. I don't even care about the name anymore. We're just getting it. I've said enough of these names, and you know what? There's a lot of them. Atreus is fully hooked up now. He has every single move he should have. Now we're moving on to the spear skills. Getting that. And there aren't too many here. I think I got everything. So here we go. Finally. Scorched Earth Part 3. And I think we're almost set. Frost Awakened 3. Vengeful Sickle. And Returning Storm. You see that? That is what I like seeing. Everything filled out. Now Kratos is even more God of War like. You see the look in his face, the determination? He has become more determined than before. His face is slightly more wrinkled than it was in the beginning of the game. It's a good look. And we found here is the problem. I was trying to use Fury the whole time. I was wondering, and we were actually on Wrath. Which I don't like it. I just don't like Wrath. I'm just gonna stick with Fury. And that's just the way it goes. And we're going to grab everything else. Look at that. 218 hacks over. Alright, we're back, sir. Get ready for conversation.
I won't help you. Who are you? Who you seek. And what's left on him. Why won't you help us? I don't want to. Elaborate. We'll die. Right. Because you've got so much to live for. Not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. Not her heart. She's got mine. It's not much, but it's enough. But you're not even... Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. Will succeed, and all realms save Asgard will fall. Yeah, he must die. It's true. But I won't sacrifice her any more than you would him. Sorry. Come. Wait. Those blades. May I see them? Hmm. Yeah, there's primordial fire in those. They are not of these lands. Shouldn't matter. What could? Put those in here. And I'll become your monster. But I don't want her involved at all. But the prophecy says you two have to combine. Sure this will work? What have I got to live for? here. Follow me. I mean, well, that's respectable. Every fire giant deserves to have the right to choose how they want to die, so I guess that's what we're doing. Or where they want to die. Where do we go? Spark of the world. Which is? The place where Niflheim and Muspelheim meet. Where the first realms came into existence. Well, that sounds like a pretty ancient place, you but what is this, this dust huh? stuff that's around us? Oh, look at that. He just melted the hell out of that thing. That's gone. Uh, starter? Still me. Better huh. than walking. He turned into a fireball. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic. Primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart, we'll be good. I'll get you big, smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? Don't know. Didn't you hear Tracy's go get big and smash stuff? How will you, or um, future new you, know when to attack Asgard? You got the horn, right? Yeah. Then we're good. I guess the horn is, will be so sufficient. Yes, and world. we have reached the new region, oh, Spark of the World. Beautiful. I'll meet you, Cross. This feels too easy. 
Odin knows we have Galahorn. He knows you have the mask. After killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that too. Then we might be playing into his dastardly plan. Regardless of such, we're gonna move on. With confidence. And a belly full of mead. Alright, let's go ahead and grab a little bit more. Well, I don't even need any more life potion. Apparently, it's all full. And here we are. The time has come. What about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes, loving someone is about choosing the lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. Promise you'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter, is stabbing you with the blades going to be enough to create this new you? Sinmar's heart is cold. So beautifully cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those blades. If enough of me and the sparks fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here. It's been good knowing you, sir. A short time and I've known you. <laughs> okay. Was that supposed to happen? Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh or anything, but that was kind of funny in a How way. How long do you think this is going to take? Oh, damn. We got a couple of Valkyries here? Odin must have sent them. Well, it's time to find the space now. Well, it seems like space. It's the spark of the world. And that's where we will do battle with Crest and Mist. There they go. They're trying to become a little bit more creative with their names now. I'm enjoying it. And I got caught with a whirlwind attack. What the heck was that? Just came at me crazy stuff. I'm feeling that. Alright, yeah, to get her with a little bit of tight rage. And this isn't looking good at all. Okay, I just got attacked twice now. I'm uh, not going to survive this one. And there we go. Okay, well, so that didn't work out. But this time, it will. We'll reverse that attack. I'm coming for a few. Okay, it's trying to block, but it can't block. It broke its guard. 
change to the Swords of Chaos. Well, barely rolled out that one. I have to save Treus now from Mist or Prist. I'm not sure which one's which yet. Maybe these should have name tags. It'll make it easier to differentiate between the two. Okay, I'm blocking all those attacks. I do not want to get hit by any of that. Now they are trying to chuck all sorts of projectiles at me. Did that one just throw a boulder at me? Where did I even find a boulder? Okay, well, I got hit once, but now I am returning fire. I'm liking this new whirlwind attack. It's doing a lot more damage than I thought it would. Perfect for group fights, I think. For mobs, just sit one of these things against it, boom, all of them gone. So I'm not sure where they're aiming at, but they're not even close to me. I have to go ahead and parry that attack. Break the guard. Get this one off of Atreus. We are getting ever so closer to the end of these bosses. A couple more attacks, I think. Block all that stuff. Well, I almost blocked everything. I got a little bit of life potion out of that one, so it's not bad. They're going to try to shoot more projectiles at me. I'm telling you, that one found a boulder out of nowhere. I guess it produced it from its own hands. Have to avoid all that. Coming for a spike. Good thing is that when you attack one, the other one is losing life too. And all of a sudden, they have healed in their back. Stronger than ever before. Now they got glowing eyeballs. You know things are powerful when their eyes glow. Okay? So let's... What the heck? I thought I avoided that boulder. Nothing was avoided at all. I just got smacked in the head with a rock. Alright, so I just carried that attack at least. And Atreus is in trouble. Come on, Atreus. You gotta do better than this. You gotta develop a Rambo roll yourself. That way you can be impervious to all attacks just like your father. Alright. I'm getting low on life again. This is not looking good for me. I'm gonna try to parry that attack. Well, I did twice now. Two successful parries. Feeling proud of myself. Oh, crap. Why didn't I ramble raw that one? And it called me an annoying pest. That's great. You're going to get karma for that one. Avoid that attack, avoid another one. Now I'm coming in for strikes. Because this time, it's my vengeance. It's my purpose to be showing these Valkyrie who is the god of war. And here it comes spinning again. I'm not going to get hit by your little attack. Chris or Miss. I'm not sure which one. And I got the Anatrace in trouble. Saved him. I had to block all that. Let's get back to the race. Pick him up a little bit. I need him to help me out with this fight. A little bit of trouble here. They're kind of a handful. There we go. The Atlas attack is one of the attacks I really like using. And I'm still glad that's back. So I got smacked in the head by these Valkyrie, and I'm still in good shape, actually. Still got green on my bar. Carry that one. Got a little life potion out of it. Let's grab it. And I finally ramble ruled out of that attack. See, saved me from a little bit of damage. Now I can get ever so closer to the end of these bosses. Well, I think so. They might just heal again. They healed the last time when I thought it was over with. Now a trace again in trouble. So we got this now. And that's the end of these bosses. I think. Get away from there! Okay, not looking good here. There we go. Tight rage. Oh crap. Trace turned to a freaking bear. Time to strike again. That's the end of that battle. Got mauled by bear. Yeah, I guess that's the end of that. But 
damn. Go sass the end of them too. And they get a stance and everything. Could put that into a poster. That's how every fight should end. You should just get into a stance. Anyways. Order. Are you there? Uh, let's see what's going on with Sir. I'm kind of worried over here. It seemed like he died. Father, over. Help us attack Asgard! I await the call. Okay, uh, so ready? he is Ragnarok, you as he that? said. All we have to do is call him with Gallarhorn when we're ready. Sounds about right Let's to head me. Back to Muspon. Where the heck is he at? I there. mean, I heard his voice get monstrous and everything, but I didn't even see the guy. Either way, we have completed the summoning. And I'm just gonna call it a walkthrough right now and just end it right now. I have more planned in a couple of days, so be on the lookout for that. If you have not liked, subscribed, or even slapped that notification button, now is a pretty good time to do it. So until the next time, I hope you have a good one. I hope you take care. Peace out.